you might be wondering why people write console.log and what does that actually mean. Starting with JavaScript or TypeScript, the first example that you see your Twitter typing is a console.log program where he prints hello world. Well, you are at the right place. Today we will be breaking down console.log, explaining its uses and how it's used in the web development. So console.log is a function in JavaScript that outputs data to the console. The console is a part of your browser developer's tool that provides you with information about what's happening on your website. Let's discuss some of the practical examples so that you can have a good understanding of how and where console.logs are used. So the first thing is debugging. You can use console.log for logging values to the console that can help in identifying issues and fixing bugs in code. For example, you can use console.log to log the value of variables, objects or arrays to see if they are holding the correct values. Now don't worry about the terms we are using. We will be looking at it practically during this session. The next thing where you can use console.log is verifying the data. When working with APIs or JSON data, you can log the data to the console to verify that it is being fetched and displayed correctly. Next thing you can do with this is performance testing. You can log the start and end time of a function execution to measure the performance of the function that you are trying to execute. It can also help you in performing a user interaction where you can log user interactions such as button clicks or form submissions to the console to help track user behavior and understand how users are using the web page. The same can also be used for exception handling. Let's say an error occurs in your code. You can log it to the console to diagnose and resolve the issue. You can also use console.log for development process. Throughout the development process, you can use it to log important information about the state of your application and to verify that things are working as expected. Let's move on to the Visual Studio Code and see how console.log practically works. Here we are onto our Visual Studio Code and over here you can see that I have already created a console tutorial.ts file which means that this is a TypeScript extension. So to begin with console.log program, the first thing we type is console and then .log and then the argument can be a string, it can be a list, an array or it can also be integer value or a boolean value as well. So let's first type in a string value. So I will write the conventional hello world over here. And once you are done writing your TypeScript, the next thing you need to do is run transpile to convert it into a JavaScript file. Now, one common mistake that most of the people do is they do not save their file before moving on to the transpile step. So just make sure whenever you make changes to your .ts file, you hit control S and this dot should be removed from here then you are good to go and use the tsc command and then after that I will give a tab and this will automatically give me the file name hit enter over here once you hit enter you must see a javascript file created and when you go in there you will find the same piece of code that we have written in the .ts file now we will use the node command and execute our javascript file hit tab over here and you will get the javascript file extension and here you go. So you can see you have the hello world printed, which is the string in our case. In the same way, you can also log different variable types. I will use console.log. And then in my case, let's say I want to print 35. Use control S. Transpile it and then running the JavaScript file. And here you go. So you can see you have hello world printed and then the integer value printed. In the same way, you can also print arrays and list. So let's do an example of that as well. So we will use console.log and then we will write down our array over here. Don't worry about if you don't have understanding of arrays, we will be explaining it in our future sessions as well. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you can have notifications popping up when we upload videos for arrays and other variable types. All right, so first we have name over here. So it is John and then Let's give it an age. So let's say we have age of 30 over here. And then let me also print a list as well. I'm writing down a list for fruits. So we have apple, we have banana, and let's say we have cherries as well. Save the file, transpile it. So here you go, you can see we have the string printed, 
we have the integer printed in the same way we have array printed and then also the list as well. So, with this I hope you have got an understanding of what console.log is and how you can use it.